Hello, friends. In today's video, I've refreshed my kitchen for spring. I've changed out fabrics, added some simple country charm with grandmother's mason jars filled with foliage from the yard, antique oil lamps, old silver, and my favorite collections of creamware and vintage dinnerware. I've used a favorite vintage McCoy pinecone teapot, sugar bowl, and creamer. Vintage J&G Meekin Romantic England red transfer ware, as well as my usual assortment of brown ware and vintage mixing bowls from my mother and my grandmother. I still love my old Wedgwood Queens plane, and I love it in my Walton's inspired glass front cupboard painted blue inside. I'm using cafe curtains I made, vintage textiles, and adding some touches of pink and green, all inspired by a remnant of Waverly Montague fabric I bought years ago. I bought this fabric remnant about 10 years ago and I used it everywhere. I made sink skirts and valances and I really had kind of forgotten about it. There was something about this fabric with the greens, pinks, and blues that spoke to me and complemented the pinecone pottery, so I got out some other pieces I had used in the past. I had already made a shade for the kitchen window with some drop cloth fabric and blue and white ticking. I decided to use a ribbon to tie it on each side. I just thought that was the icing on the cake and I love how that pretty ribbon looks. So y'all, this is how my thought process works. I like to have a kitchen towel hanging on the stove handle purely for looks. I like to tie fabrics together and having something there just keeps it from looking so bare. So I tried a couple of options and then I realized all I needed to do was use a piece of the Waverly Montague fabric and sew that onto the bottom of the plaid towels and it worked perfectly. I kind of ran into an issue with the glass front cabinetry because I felt like it looked cluttered in the photos and video. Of course, this was something I loved on the set of The Walton's Kitchen, which y'all know is my ultimate inspiration. And theirs just doesn't look cluttered somehow. And maybe it's because they only have glass on the one side. So I tried both ways. And as much as I like the solid doors in the photos, in person, I just love the glass cabinetry. It just feels open and it has that country cottage charm that I love. You will see it both ways in the video and photos, so be sure to let me know which one you prefer, the glass front or the solid doors. I'm gonna let you see the kitchen now and I will have a blog post linked with all kinds of photos and details, but if you have any other questions, be sure to drop them right here. I hope you're inspired to get out some old fabrics and look through those cabinets for some things that you haven't used in a while. And I promise you, you will have a fresh new look for your kitchen as well.
Thank you.